Hey, this is Tom from The Verge. Uh, we've seen Google Assistant everywhere, from your phone, your TV, your car, even your watch. Now we're seeing it on these brand new smart displays. And Lenovo is one of the first partners to create these actual devices. Essentially, it's basically extending the Google Assistant uh, to a screen-based display. So kind of similar to how we've seen with the Echo Look, some uh, sort of similar to that. So let's, let's see exactly what, what it does with that. So I can say stuff like, uh, hey Google, Good morning. And it's going to go through a routine, which is you'll get your uh, ride to work um, information, maybe the news, all that sort of stuff. It's the sort of thing you'd expect when you wake up and ask it um, for a routine. So other things you can do beside the routine stuff is obviously queries like you would on Google Assistant. Hey Google, show me bakeries nearby. So normally on a phone, you'd listen to the Google Assistant and you'd get a bunch of stuff back and you'd have to wait and go through every single thing. Um, here, you can obviously scroll through. It's like a card UI. You can tap whichever one you want. So you can also dig deeper into the experience here. Hey Google, show me how to get here. The best way to get to Carlo's Bake Shop by... And then you're obviously going to get um, directions through Google Maps. Um, what's really interesting is it's also going to send these directions to your phone as well, so you can pick up and go out and drive to wherever you need to go. So you might be wondering, what is this running? Is it Chrome? Is it Android? It's actually Android Things, which boots into the Google Assistant experience that we're seeing right here. So we've seen uh, Google Duo, um, we've seen Google Play Music, we've seen Maps, YouTube, a lot of Google services at the moment. There's going to be third party support in the future. Um, that doesn't mean via Android apps or anything like that. So it's, it's a new platform essentially that uh, Google's created. and Lenovo is one of the first um, hardware makers to sort of launch this at CES this year. There's actually two different models. Um, there's an 8-inch and a 10-inch. Uh, the 8-inch has got just a regular HD display. The 10-inch has got a full HD display. But Lenovo have done some kind of interesting things on the hardware. Um, so around the back of the 8-inch model, you've got a matte uh, finish. And then on the 10-inch model, there's actually a bamboo. Um, you, those aren't going to be interchangeable. That's just how they've designed them. Lenovo built a kind of stand into the base so that you can change whichever way you want them to, to stand. So that's pretty neat as well. They've also done a really interesting uh, privacy feature, which is the webcam has a shutter, a physical shutter, so that it can shut off. And you'll be able to see that from, from, from the distance with a red dot. Um, essentially, you, that will show you that it's actually turned off. That's a pretty good thing to see in these sort of devices. We've seen a device like the Echo Spot that's got a camera that's pointing at your bedroom, um, and there's no control over the, uh, the actual webcam there. Um, even though there's a lot of software restrictions, it's still quite nice just to have that as a privacy control anyway. So these are kind of like miniature little TVs. They're kind of a retro sort of look to them. And I could see that they'd sort of fit in with your kitchen. Um, you've obviously could get YouTube for your recipes. Um, you've got Google Maps for your driving directions. They kind of make sense of that part of the home. And they're kind of small enough um, just to sort of sit on the side and sort of just be there for when you need to call them. Um, I think what's really more interesting though is the actual platform um, and where this will go. Um, these are obviously limited to this 8 inch and 10 inch form factor on these devices and there's going to be other ones obviously. Um, but I think what's really interesting is where it goes, like could it be part of your toaster, could it be on like your fridge? I think that's kind of where I see this essentially going in the future. In terms of when they're going to be available, when you can get your hands on one of these, um, Google and Lenovo are both saying um, this is going to be sort of summertime. Um, the 8 inch model here is priced at $199. Um, and the 10 inch one is priced at $249. So you're gonna be able to get these in the summertime. And that's when we're gonna see exactly what happens with it. And um, we've obviously seen the Amazon Echo Show and it's pretty early days for that particular device. We haven't really seen its full capabilities yet. And this is obviously a, a major competitor to it. And um, it's kind of what we're expecting to see. Um, whether, whether either device is successful or not, we'll have to see. But um, I think it's, it's gonna be an interesting battle through the rest of the year. Okay, thanks for watching. Um, we're gonna be at CES all week. So subscribe to our YouTube channel and you're going to be able to see a lot more devices just like this.